All right, Sports Squire here with Coach Guy A from Georgia Tech Volleyball. Team is on an eight-match winning streak, and we'll delve into that a little bit later. But North Carolina State, I was watching. You trailed multiple times in the match, including uh, 23 to 18, I want to say, in the fifth 15. set. 15. 23 yeah. 15. <laughs> in the fourth set, you used, both your time, you used your timeouts, yes. and you are able to get 10 straight points to at least win that set. Yeah. How do you approach that as a coach? Did you say anything in the huddle? Did you? Because you were out of timeouts and everything yeah. like that um no i mean we just kept talking about hey we just gotta we gotta play the next point and we just gotta keep going one point at a time one of the one of the things we talked about in the beginning of the match was that um you know you never know in what point in the game you're gonna make a play that's gonna turn the momentum over that's gonna turn the way some things are going um good or bad and so you really just have to take one play at a time and that's kind of what we tried to stay focused. It was a match that we were struggling offensively more than we more than we have been. They were doing a good job um, against us, and we really um, weren't finding very many answers until you know. But we really um, just the, the resilience of this team. I think that whole weekend um, against UNC and against NC State, those were not easy environments to play in, um, and you know, and those were teams that were very well prepared. Um, to play us and that showed us a lot of things that we're going to have to work on this week to be a better team next week. Um, but we really just stayed focused. We it took one point at a time. I think that the fight within the team of, hey, we we're not losing this, uh, was one of the things that impressed me the most. It was we really wanted to win and, and we were doing anything in our power and we had players that, you know, our players uh, weren't at their best performances all the time, but everybody made a play when we needed them to make plays. Um, and so it was just a huge, I think, growing, but also just a team, you know, you only see it in movies. Um, it was a great team effort, a great atmosphere, uh, just a great vibe from the team to really fight back and, and give themselves that opportunity. And it's, 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 it was fun to be a part of it. And then even the fifth set, you trailed eight to five, and Mariana won a big run offensively, and they would have to win. So even after that fourth set, you still trailed in the fifth and had to go yeah. through that. But talk about her performance and twenty-one kills, twelve digs, and really kept them to carry you in that fifth For set. For sure, I think Mari gave us, uh, you know, we were breathing by, you know, oxygen or whatever. We we're almost running out of it, and she kind of just gave us that that extra boost there in, in game four. She had eight kills in game four. Um, and then carried over to game five. So she really was somebody that really stepped up and we were able to get her the ball. We were able to, to help her score some points and, and uh, she just kind of got the confidence going and it was really someone that, that really stepped up and helped us out of, the, out of just that funk that we were going through. Uh, so she did a great job and I felt like she's been playing great um, for a long time now, uh, you know, and, and I think that it's been fun to see just her growth in that position, how much confidence she's getting, uh, how much better she's getting with just adjusting her attacks and her blocking and things like that on that side of the court. Uh, but she's just a fighter. She doesn't give up. She plays to win, and it's good to have her on our side. And we've spoken about blocking multiple times this year, uh, but Kayla had five blocks in that NC State match. Uh -huh. How important was that for a middle to step up and give you that type of contribution? You had five, I think, against North Carolina as for well. Sure. So she gave you a lot of defensive uh, aggression yeah, for I mean, you I that weekend. Yeah, I anytime we're getting blocks, it's, it's, it's a good time. Um, you know, our team is, is known. Um, I think that we're, we're doing a lot of really – great things offensively and, and blocking has been one of the things that we uh, we definitely understand that it takes a little more concentration and, and, and efficiency with our movements because we're, you know, we're not always the tall dominant physical players in those positions and so it takes us a lot of focus and efficiency um, and Kayla does a great job with that. I mean, she's just a fighter, she hustles uh, and she just busts her butt every play, um, you know, she goes as hard as she can and and she doesn't let her weaknesses kind of hold her back. She works on a daily basis to make them better, uh, to find ways to get better. And she, she's executing and matches on those things. So it's, it's great when she's able to, to have such a high level of execution on some things that we feel are some of her weaknesses in her game that she needs to continue to get better. 
uh, when she does that, it just shows you how much heart she has and how much she just gets after it. And your team is on an eight-match winning streak, as I mentioned earlier. All in ACC play, you had a 10-match winning streak a few years ago, but that was kind of what preseason or non-conference kind of spill over them into ACC. Yeah. But you're getting these conference wins, especially on the road. I know this was a big emphasis for you. Yes. Uh, what's, what's the team been doing so well this past month, especially getting these crucial road wins in the North Carolina swing this past weekend? Yeah, I mean, I, I, we're... we're uh, we're not giving up. I think that we're fighting for points. We're playing as a team. We're understanding that you, you know we're not always going to be at our best, but we need to be the best that we can that day for the next person and help them be their best. Uh, so I think we're playing with confidence. We're we're understanding uh, you know what it takes to win at this level. Uh, I think that we're playing with a lot more energy and intensity on the road than we we have been before. Uh, and so all these things are just part of their growth and their evolution. I mean, they're growing as players. We're growing as a team. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, those are the strengths. It's, it's when these things start to happen, um, it's kind of a snowball effect, right? You see the results of what it's like to play together, what it's like to fight for every point, to have energy, to have intensity, uh, to get after things, and, and it's fun. And then that's how they like to play. That's how they're learning how to develop and, hey, this is the type of volleyball team that we want to be when we're out there competing. Um, and they did just that this weekend, so super proud of them. And now the team is second place in the conference. And Pittsburgh, who you faced this weekend, only team ahead of you. Yeah. Top 65 in the RPI as we're recording this. Mm -hmm. the players talk about them being motivated by the numbers. And I, see, I even see you have the standings. I'm not giving away anything. <laughs> you have the standings up on your board in, uh -huh. in the practice yeah. area. So how do you use the – you talk about standings and RPI, or do you kind of – Touch on it a little bit and maybe focus on the next match. How do you approach that balance yeah, of looking sure. at standings I mean, and we, everything? We updated and we, and we put it out there um, so that we have an understanding of where we are, uh, what is the scenario that we're going to be facing. But we try not to focus on that stuff too much. We know, obviously, even from playing this weekend, you know, if you look at RPI, NC State, RPI, UNC, I mean, anything can happen. Conference matches are really tough. Conference matches on the road are extremely tough. And in this conference, anybody can beat anybody. Um, so we don't get too caught up on the numbers. I mean, obviously, we want to check in every week, and we do that on Mondays and Tuesdays, and we just kind of, you know, we check in. We see where we are. We see where we need to get better. We see how much we have to, you know, hey, these are our opportunities moving forward. Um, but we know that they're basically, they don't mean anything when you step on that court and the whistle blows and you have to play. Um, you know, so... I think that those are the things that are important for us to understand is what gets us winning games. Um, obviously, the rankings are great and, and getting better, and it's, it, you know, it shows your results, and so it's a reflection on the things that you're doing. Um, but they don't really they don't hit a ball, they don't dig a ball, they don't score points. Um, so we have to really be mindful of you know, focusing on the things that are going to help us win, um, and the rankings are not one of them. You know, it's it's we gotta execute. We gotta do the fundamentals. We gotta do the things that we do in practice every day, um, in order for us to continue to move towards our goals. Uh, so, uh, we're we're looking forward to to this matchup against Pitt, and we're you know just trying to stay consistent and, and stay grounded on the things that we need to keep stay focused on. And the numbers will speak for themselves. Uh, we don't have to worry about that too much. But if you look at the numbers, uh, assist. Hitting percentage, kills. It's the top two offensive teams in the conference if you look at it overall. Uh, so I, I call it the match of the year to date. You told me <laughs> just the next match. But how do you handle that as well? Obviously, it, it's a top five. They're top five in the nation, uh -huh. too, and they're first in the conference. So yeah. it's a really big matchup for you, but you also have to turn around and play another team sure. uh, later on. So how yes. do you just prepare and balance out? And what about Pitt in general? Yeah, I mean, Pitt is just a tremendous team. I think uh, Dan has been doing a great job with that program and, and what he and his players were able to to do and bring them. And it's, it's something to be inspired by, you know. Um, I think that this is aspirations of every program here in the ACC is to really get this conference um, as strong as, you, as we can. And so um, by Pitt showing us the way and showing us that, that it is possible, um, you know, it's definitely something that we want to continue to kind of strive for. Um, but other than that, it's 
for us it needs to be the next game. You know, it's we have been kind of staying in the moment, focusing. Um, obviously, it's a great opportunity to uh, play a great team, and you know, the tougher your opponent, the bigger your opportunity to kind of show what you got and what you can do against those opponents. And so. It's going to be a fun volleyball atmosphere on Friday. It's going to be a fun opportunity for our players to compete against uh, one of the best teams in the country. Um, and I think that we're going to get ourselves ready for it. Um, we're going to go out there, we're going to give our best, and we'll see what happens. But uh, I think that we're really focusing on, again, it's how do we need to play this game and, and get prepared here to some of the things that we feel are their strength and, and how we're going to minimize that.